Okay, well this is going to be kind of different. You probably never saw anything quite like that before. Uh, I'll come back to this chart in just a moment, but it, it, I have it hanging on the wall down here in the barn. Uh, let's move over and look at this chart. When I was covering Greek mythology, uh, I'm not so sure I was ever able to show you this whole chart, so I hung it on the wall, and uh, oh, there it is. I don't really want to talk too much more about that because we've already covered that in the past. But back to this chart. Um, I'm going to crawl up on a ping pong table here that I've got that I use, I'm going to use for sheet metal work as well as ping pong. And we're going to look closer at it in just a little bit. This is a chart I made many, many years ago, somewhere down there in the corner. I signed. Uh, yeah, there, well, there it is. Uh, I guess we didn't put a year on it. But anyway, uh, what we've done, this tr it will track our progress through the year. What we've done is we've started uh, down there with Gilgamesh. But before I even go to that, these brown letters, they have to do with Indo-European, which in linguistics I showed you that, that those people spread across there. And there you can see the word for mother. I'll go closer in a little bit. Uh, Matar is, goes all the way down to India. Uh, and, uh, and we're going to gradually throughout the year move across until by the end of the year we're actually talking about people like Jack London, uh, Mark Twain. But that'll be very, very close to the end of the year. Well, what we did uh, after the in the classical period, and now I'm going to climb up onto the ping pong table and show you a little closer. Um, here was uh, uh, Gilgamesh, and it's kind of, well, vaguely in that area. Then I eventually turned to the uh, Hebrews, and uh, on that line, Hebrew literature, we went down into Egypt, came back out, and that hook on there is for the uh, Babylonian exile and return. Then we got to, uh, then we jumped over to the Greeks and uh, there Mount Olympus and I, I didn't do anything with Theseus. I didn't tell that story. It's a wonderful story too, but I couldn't do it all. Uh, we fought the uh, Trojan War and uh, off goes Odysseus on his journey in the Odyssey. And then the Greeks eventually influenced the Romans for Roman literature, what I did was this, this orange line, supposedly uh, Aeneas, uh, as told in the Aeneid, stopped, uh, in Car uh, fle uh, escaped the burning Troy, stopped in Carthage for a while, <coughs> and there, sorry, and there he uh, broke Dido's heart. And uh, there's Rome, legend of the Sabine women. And the Romans conquered all this stuff, made it the whole way up. Uh, Adrian built a wall across Britain, but then eventually that collapsed. Then we picked up the uh, Christians back here. Jesus was born, and we only did that little bit of a loop right there. But eventually the Christians, I'll probably tell you about this, made it to Rome. Uh, and on the back of the Roman Empire, they Christianized the known world. I made that as a cross. Um, I guess that's probably a, enough for now. I'll, I'll come back to this chart later on. All right, hope to see you uh, tomorrow.